Alright, what is up my lovely people of the world? I wasn't sure if I was about to get kicked from this here room because everybody else is red and I didn't know if it was some sort of exclusive club that they did not want my yellow ass being a part of. But looks like we in the door and we good. What's going on? So, I'm a little angry. I've lost two videos of content because I didn't know that uh, the sound was fucked up. And, like, part of me is angry about it. It's like, it, just, it sucks. You know, I, I spent that time recording. I, I can't... My time available to record is somewhat limited, and thus losing content can, can suck quite a bit. Um, on the flip side of that, I'm also somewhat okay with it, because of the first video... So, I want to play Tager in this, and it, it's probably a terrible idea, especially in a lobby of, like, if these people are actually legitimately good... I am going to just get destroyed, annihilated, uh, my booty gonna be black and blue by the end of it, and that's just how it's gonna be, especially if we wind up having to fight this 9 player, cause, oh boy, I can't, I, I can't see the 9 Tager matchup being anything but horrendous, but, um, so I, that's what I was doing in the other video, I was like, alright, I'm gonna play Tager, and so, uh, I joined a lobby, it's a four person lobby, I fill out the lobby, there are three other people already there. The characters they were using. My Lambda Lychee. Like, the only way that lobby could have been worse is if there was a Hazuma or an Amane in there. Otherwise, like, that's about as bad as it gets if you're trying to play Tager. Damn, people really like their overdrive canceling, man. Um, but yeah, that was... Oh, man, if she didn't move forward during that, she would have gotten fucked. Not really, because that would have been a 5A counter hit. Um... But so, like, again, part of me is, it sucks when you just lose something that you, you spent time on. But on the flip side of that, was it really worth it to begin with when you've got my terrible Tager against three of his worst matchups? Like, I mean, actually, I shouldn't say three of his worst matchups. Definitely two of them. I don't really know definitively how bad the my matchup is. It feels like it sucks. But, again, my Tager sucks, and so you can't really say definitively. And then the other one was like, I think it took me 25 minutes to finally actually get to play because I sat down for six minutes first and like I'm sitting in this lobby waiting for the match to end and um, and then I just get kicked. Like I don't know why. I, know, I don't know why I got kicked. I kind of just assumed because the host was yellow and everybody else in the lobby was either white or green. They were scurred, and I'm just going to go with that, because obviously, I mean, come on, you want to go for the most negative uh, possible thing on the dude who just made you waste all that time. <laughs> um, but so then, and then I joined another lobby that was full, because it was the only other one I had a good connection in, so I had to wait like eight matches to finally get to play. So I'm not terribly mad about losing that one either. Uh-oh. It said two bars. Don't you, you better smooth out and be perfect, homie. But yeah, so I, I'm, uh, I got a few things to say about Tager in a bit. But first, let's get destroyed. This isn't too bad, though. Bang versus Tager has never been that bad. I wonder if that's just free. Oh, I tried to. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Fuck it, it worked out. Whoa! No, you serious? I called that out so high. I did 360C. Oh, nice, that ate my back dash. Because he ended up on the other side. That was dirty. That was even dirtier! Fuck this guy! Oh yeah, yeah, we we saw that once. Holy shit! Holy shit! What am I doing? What am I doing? How? Like I just said, that should have been my win free. That should have been a gadget finger whiff into a full confirm. That should have been an earlier rapid cancel into six C. In oh god damn it! God damn it! It's so fast. And Tiger's pokes are. 
Nice, 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 nice. All right, I can't use that against this dude. He's, pa he's, he's actually patient. That's jump can't fuck that. <gasps> this dude's doing bang shit I've never seen. I haven't played Dacid, bro, since Continuum Shift, and there are no other bangs in the world. Jesus, that fucked up. Oh, I was hoping I could throw. Oh, give me my burst back. I didn't get my burst back. Look at how close I was. You know what? I didn't get perfected. Let's call that a success. That dude had some setups. Kudos to him. I love it when I play against people that I can't just play default. I can't play... I can't... Sorry, give me a second. Oh, no! My, uh... So whenever you get it by a stick from Adark, shout outs to them. I think they have PS4 sticks now. They're good peoples. Um... They, you, they give you a nice little cloth, like the kind of cloth that you would get to like clean your glasses or clean anything that's, you know, kind of, um, anyway. Very nice, very, uh, n soft cloth in order to clean your the tops of your sticks with. And, uh, somehow I got a hole ripped in the bottom of the bag that it came in, so now I'm gonna have to find somewhere else so that it's not getting all, you know, like, air particles and shit dirtying it up and whatnot. Anyway, um... So, like, it's always nice to get to play against somebody where you can't just kind of... You can't block them. Where you can't just be like, Oh, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I know how to do everything. Like, they show you new shit. It's exciting. It's fun. And you gotta learn it. Uh, so, yeah, I gotta watch out for that float shit. But anyway, so, Tager. I found out earlier. So, I hopped... Because I've been, I've been really struggling. And I don't know. Somebody, one of you that is far more informed than I is gonna have to tell me if they changed 360s, like, either they changed 360s on me, or I had, like, the reverse of bad execution. Where I was accidentally doing three, standing 360s correctly, and I just never knew all this time until just now. But I always thought that in order to do a standing uh, 360, because if you don't know, you've never had to do the full... Um, 360 degree motion in order to get a 360 move. It's a little weird. But you've always been able to just do like basically three quarters of it. But I always thought you had to essentially do you could do a 180 so you start at you know one end and then you do a half circle around to the other end and then one upward direction and up forward or an up back. That doesn't work in this game and I've been really legitimately struggling to do standing 360s. And so finally, I went into training mode to start working on them. You know, obviously, in training mode, I can look at all my inputs and shit, which is great for figuring out where your execution problems lie. And I found out that's what's happening. Every single time, I only did that, the 180 plus and up whatever direction, a corner, I would not get it. But if I did a 270 degree motion, um, going from doing a 180 and then doing an up plus forward or up plus back and then up, I would always get it, and I always thought you only had to do the corner, you didn't have to get to the up, so like, was I incorrect this entire time and I have, have I just been accidentally doing that, or is that new, because like I mentioned, I've it's only been in this game where I really started to struggle to do standing 360s, where I didn't have that problem before, um, and so now that i figured that out, I should struggle far less, hopefully. If I can actually remember it in the heat of battle. Oh! I forgot that could go airborne. That's so dirty! Um, so, for those of you that may not know, he only gets... You see he has all four seals down there. That is a command grab distortion where he will teleport to you and uh, command grab you if he has all four seals. He only gets that once he's hit with all four seals. I completely forgot that he could also teleport to you while you're in the air. So, like, if you jump... You're kind of just immediately fucked. Or oh, did somebody leave? Somebody left. One of the reds left. But yeah, so, uh... Anyway, Tager. So that I was having that problem, and so I just random selected my training room opponent person. And it wound up being Makoto. And I came to find out that apparently the gadget finger with combos are character specific. Somewhat. It doesn't work on Makoto. Makoto's horizontal juggle hitbox 
for some reason, is too high in the air to actually get hit with the 5B afterwards. I don't know why. I have no answer as to why. But it just, it, I could not get it to work. Any, I tried every single setup there was. Um, every single combo route there was that you could gadget finger with. And none of them worked. And so finally I just switched and I got Valkenhayn and it, everything worked perfectly fine. So that kind of makes me angry that like one of his basic necessary combo routes doesn't even work on the entire cast. And so that's just another thing to file away is like, shit, this character. <laughs> Along with my disdain of Gadget Finger, my hatred of Atomic Collider. I do like his 360B, because his 360B is like, it's actually somewhat useful in neutral because there is so much invincibility to it that you can definitely uh, use it in neutral, except the problem, I think it's actually one of his more punishable moves as well. Yo, the quick get up. Everybody falls for it. Everybody. But I'm also in that weird scenario where, like, I'm really not solid enough with any of the... I mean, the three characters I'm picking right now. I would eventually like to add Hakum into that. And then this is the easiest version of Hakum into play. Damn. Wouldn't... Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't 6B have been a far better route? Like... Tarumi with 100 meters, surely, especially with Overdrive, surely could have killed off of a Fatal Counter, because that's what his, his 6B is, is Fatal, as far as I'm aware, unless that's changed. And there's definitely more than enough time. This kind of shit that confuses me is like, do I know as much about this character as I actually think that I do? Is this dude using Simple Mode? Maybe that's why he didn't kill him. Because, uh, the reason why I'm asking is because he is consistently, every single time he blocks, he's barriering. And there's it, there's no, oh, no, never mind, there was not a barrier there, so I guess this dude is just very, very, very fond of barrier blocking. But that's one of the signs that it may mean they are using stylish mode, is that they're, they always barrier block, because stylish forces you to use barrier when you're blocking. Damn, the call out! But yeah, so it's like, you know, sometimes I pick Asriel, sometimes I pick Susano, sometimes I pick Tager. And so because of that, because I'm not just sticking with any one, and I'm really not, I'm not even close to mastery with any one of them, I kind of take steps backwards each time I pick a different character. Dude, Overdrive! You're Tarumi! Oh, there we go. What? What? That's not going to do anything! Holy shit, that did so much more than I expected! I mean, that did wind up doing a shit ton of damage, but surely... He could've killed. Like, he got that close off of just immediately doing Overdrive into Distortion. Surely, there could've been an additional combo through that that would've given him the necessary damage. Because he wasn't that deep into the combo. I mean, I guess he did use those stomps, which I think are pretty pretty hefty on the uh, proration of a combo. But still, like, that close. I mean, he was within, like, 500 damage of dying, right? Please don't pick Hazuma. <laughs> I'm still gonna pick Tager. I'm just, I'm just begging. Please don't pick Ozma. Shit. All right, we can have to hold this shit. I should get my DS ready. <laughs> get me some Pokemon Moon going, cause I'm about to sit back and lose again. Granted, from the look of it, his bang is better than his Hazuma. So, maybe we might be able to do this. I don't know why the fuck I just did 2A. 
I just tried to JA counter hit that and it didn't even fucking work. So that's just a 50-50. That 2A, did you see that shit? That 2A was active so early in that and it just got beat? Dude, like I called that out. And it's, I mean I didn't call that out, that was pure reaction, but like... That was a good, that was actually a good tech, he knows what he's doing. God damn it, magnetism! <laughs> Fucking hate it when you rely on magnetism for something, and then it just goes away, and so I don't get the pull in, I don't get the blocks done, I just get hit. He fucking hard called me out. Yeah, I, I can't cool. So yeah, I just I don't get to do anything about that. Oh! Armor, please! I was I was burying that entire time until right when I got hit. Yeah, this dude is hard calling me. Like at every single turn, this guy's hard calling me out. What? What happened there? Why did I just go straight through his chain? Alright, so I should, I mean, like, I've already mentioned, my Tager sucks, and, like, the best matchup I've gotten for him is Bang, which is still not in Tager's advantage, but it's certainly, I mean, it's like, I would say probably 5.5, 4.5 Bang's favor. But Hazuma, that was just, a, that was a bad fucking idea on my part. But, like, my Tager sucks now. I have nothing with him anymore. Nothing that I used to do works anymore. And the actually kind of the problem is that he really doesn't have much that works anyway. It's such a weird place to be in where, like... I mean, that Gadget Finger nerf hit him so... To the point where, like, I'm actually seeing... Most good Tager players just forego using it entirely. Like, they would rather end a combo without getting magnetism than they would using gadget finger as their only method of getting it and that is an awful place to be in but i can certainly see why because like i've always mentioned that a lot of characters they kind of even after you know when gadget finger was actually useful and worthwhile it was still fairly um Backdash was still a fairly safe option for most of the cast. Like, Tager couldn't do a lot about it. Most of them he had to kind of hard call out 5D or do a gadget finger whiff to bring them back in and then do something. Both of those are hard call outs and very easy to blow up if you don't backdash and you do something else instead. Damn! Nice. Swing forward, hit behind him. It's a wonderful hitbox right there. But yeah, I mean, especially now because of how far away they get put. Even if you do, like, Gadget Finger into Gadget Finger Whiff, Backdash is still a pretty safe option. Like, even hard calling it out doesn't really work that well anymore. I mean, like, honestly, the worst part about trying to relearn Tager at this point is being like, I have an Asriel. I barely have a Susano. I'd probably do better with Hakuman, even though my Hakuman is absolute trash, than I would with Tager, because that's how bad the character is now. And that's really not a good look, and that is the, like, that's the bane of trying to get st play a different character, is when you get bodied like that, and you just understand... I could do so much better if I just picked this other character instead. <laughs> you 
he should if he had done an additional mix up after that cross because that cross up was good. That sucks. That sucks, dude. That cross up was good, but he should have gone into either an overhead, either her overhead or her low after that. Like whatever her, I don't know what the actual commands for them are, but the command like six B six C whatever the fuck they are. That's something I actually have to work on with Susano. Like, I do it with Asriel plenty, but right now I don't really... I really only go into Asriel's over... I mean, not Asriel. Into Susano's overhead in the middle of block strings. I don't, like, put them in block stun from, like, a jump in or whatever and then do it. I only do, like, jump in into 5B, 5C, 2C. Then I do 6C or, you know, 6D or whatever. Whereas, you know, like... Landing with a jump in, basically everybody's immediate reaction after you land a jump in is to start blocking low. And then in the middle of the block string, they'll start looking out for overheads or command grabs or whatever other mix-up you have available to you. But there are ve very few people expect an overhead after you land immediately from a jump in. And so it's a very strong mix-up if you, obviously, if you use it, um sparingly like if you just keep on fucking doing it then they're gonna start blocking high all the time but then you can start getting to hit them with lows except the problem with that with susano is that you would have to land and immediately do 3c because he don't got no other lows fucking love it that is a very sad aspect of his character i mean i don't think it's like terrible and a deal breaker for him but for to 2A and 2B, 2C not being a low I understand, the animation isn't particularly lowish and it's more served as uh, an anti-air than it is like a low or kind of a block string move, so that's perfectly fine, but for 2B where he's swiping at your ankles not to be a low, for um, 2A where he's clawing at your ankles to not be a low, that just doesn't make sense to me. This looks like fun to play in. Yeah, he went the safe route, but unfortunately that prorated his combo too much. <laughs> Damn! Oh man, I can't believe that didn't even combo off of a counter hit. I actually am playing Pokemon Moon now. <laughs> it makes me a little sad. So the one thing, I don't know how many of you guys play Pokemon and how many of you guys potentially agree with this assertion but like I found a lot of the starters their first I like their first forms but the more they evolve the less I like them and that's kind of been the same way since like generation 2 like Cyndaquil was my dude I love that motherfucker uh, Totodile was pretty awesome unfortunately he was I don't know how he works in the if he's better in the remakes I think it's my turn now. I don't know if he's any better in the remakes because I don't know if the switch to all the moves happened, but back when Gold and Silver were, you know, first released, all water moves were still considered special moves and his special attack fucking sucked. But I did like Totodile on his uh, evolutions and I even like Chikorita. Like, she was my least favorite. I don't know why I refer to it as she. Uh, my least favorite of the three, but I still liked it. And then, you know, like kind of the more it went on, the less... It was kind of like, I liked the first forms, the second forms were iffy, and then I fucking hated the evolutions. It was just, like, too much was going on. I think that's the best way I can describe it. How much is this gonna suck? I bet I can 360A most of his block strings. Not like in the middle of them, but maybe in the middle of them. Definitely off of like 2D or 5D. I can definitely 360A punish those. Although he's probably too far away after those. Unless he's magnetized. <laughs> that should have been punished. What?! Damn, I fucked that up. <laughs> Whoop! 
most other characters I would have hit. I'm just saying. That didn't work. That was stupid of me. Bit a button on the way down. That was a command grab that I should have reacted to. My t I'm just I'm so hopeless with Tager because I don't know what the fuck to do. None of the shit combos anymore that I used to do. That traded like that's negative three on block and that shit traded. I want you to I want you to understand how bad that makes his five A that that shit traded. Even though that's negative three on block. Like I'm so baffled. Also, that doesn't work. Shout out to Tager. I didn't get hammer. Come on, man. See, like, because the problem is most of the time when that happens, you usually get to either it either activates the armor of two three six B, or it active, or you get to hammer afterwards and it activates the armor of that. Dude, I'm so hopeless with Tager now. I'm like, it's not even like, wow, man, this dude is so good and he's destroying me. No, my Tager is the worst my Tager has ever been. I include pre going to offline sessions and tournaments, continuum shift version of my Tager where I did nothing but spam sledge and had no fucking idea what optimal combos were or what frame traps were and all that shit. My Tager is the worst right now and it hurts. I don't want it to be. But, like, I'm so clueless what to do with this character. And the worst part of it, too, is that, like, I watch the best Tagers that I remember. Like, I see their names. Grandia, fucking Beryl. Um, actually, I think those are the only two that are still around. Like, I see other Tagers. But almost all of the other Tager names that I remember, they're just gone. They're not playing anymore. Grandia and Beryl are the only two left. But I see them play, and they're just like, they don't do anything. And it feels that way with Tager. Like, there's nothing that I can actually do with this character. Do I need to just get rid of Do I need to just drop him? Because if I just, it, it feels so wrong to play him. And I mean, like, and I've been down on Tager before, right? Like, I've always, I've said negative things about him, but I kind of am like, you know, they haven't fixed anything about him. Magnetism meter, eh, that whole shit. But I've never really been like, this is completely unenjoyable. There's nothing fun about using this character. But right now, that's where I'm at. I don't know what to do. Because a big part of it is like... Against people that just run away all day. Which is what this dude has been doing. He has just been running away and like looking for his spots to come in. And unfortunately his spots to come in are all aerial. And every single time I've tried to anti-air it has ended in complete and utter failure. There's been... There hasn't even been like a trade or anything. It's just been beaten clean every time. Or like, you know, you saw that 2C that just completely whipped. Um... And so, like, that's obvious that's not a good look whatsoever. But he always used to have 5D for people like that. Where you just, you can't run away from that move. You just, you have to block it and then try to run away and hope that I don't do something else that's going to catch you. But now, like, 5D barely has any magnetism pull to it. It actually, if they block it, or even if they get hit by it, both. It actually pushes them further away than it brings them in, which gives them a free escape route after a single 5D. And so... I... I don't know what to do against somebody like this who is completely willing to just run away. And has no qualms whatsoever with fighting me from full screen. Tager has no answer to that. And he never has, really. Like, a lot of people will say, oh, dude, he has Spark Bolt. Use that. That's not an answer. It's too easy to bait out. It's too easy to, like, make it seem like you're about to do something and just not do anything. And take zero risk. Because what is Tager going to do otherwise? 
He doesn't have anything when you there's when there's only one tool available to him to any character and you only have to be worried about that one tool obviously you can tailor your entire game plan around that single tool and never get hit by it and so the threat of it might allow me to you know walk forward and kind of do shit sure but it's never gonna allow me to uh it's never gonna get me offense it just might let me close the distance a little bit, but then what happens when they just call me out on my approach and they either just air dash over me and I don't spark bolt fast enough because you basically have to just call that out. Or alternatively, I try to jump in on them and they do that thing where they just dash under me and run to the other side of the screen. I don't know, man. I'm really... I mean, like, my record with Tager right now is probably like 10% wins. <laughs> Which is just amazing. Now granted, a significant part of that is that the majority of people I have played with Tager have used like an incredibly bad matchup for me. But that's not an excuse. That's no reason to be losing that much. I've never lost this much before with Tager. But here we are. And now this is the first time I've played Habiki, so I hope he doesn't really know what he's doing all that much, because otherwise I'm fucked. Didn't even recognize that that was a cross up. Holy shit, did that whip punish me? I feel like I, I mean, because nothing like showed up, right? No. cross up I need to be able to react to that oops I wasn't even paying attention there try to antsy air foolish I'm an idiot okay I can't I can't counter mash I might be dead no oh, no you can wrap it good bait Fuck that whip punish the JC. I should have I should have known that was a possible. Like that's something I would never do if I was actually familiar with this matchup. I didn't even think about that. What am I doing? Of course that's not going to hit when he's unmagnetized. Wow, I can't even counter hit that. You serious? I need to be able to recognize that on reaction. Like I'm just I'm not That's not something you should get hit by if you're at all familiar with the character and you know what his shit looks like. What? I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to do that. What do I do? It's Tager. I think I need to instant block. It will either instant block or uh, that was stupid of me to hit a button on the way down. Why did I try to anti it? <laughs> Why did I, I should know by now. All of these games, how many failed anti airs have I had in my lifetime using Tager? And I still try to do it. When will I learn? One second, my DS is on red battery. I need to plug it in. Oh, let me. You're like. I can't believe this Gemini Spark dude is still here with how his connection looks. You know, I'll be honest. I need to play somebody worse. <laughs> I need to learn how to walk with Tager before I start running, and I'm going to need to be able to run against that dude. Oh, shit. I just saw that three thing right when I hit it. Should I play some ranked matches with Tager? Surely that'll go well. I already got my trophy, so I don't give a shit. Oh, wait, where is he? He's one of the originals, so he'll be near the top. Oh, is it all in alphabetical? No, Lychee's right underneath me. I thought maybe because I just saw Talcaca. That's not even alphabetical. Talcaca would come afterwards. No, not no. That would not end well.
Can we change it to three? I've never, I've had good, like that dude was a two bar connection and that was perfectly fine. But I have never had a good two bar connection in ranked. Granted, you see, I've played ten matches. That's not a huge sample size. And I think like maybe four of them were against two bar people. Um, but yeah, I've never had a good two bar. Now granted, this is just generally what I kind of see when I am sitting here playing. It's actually been long. Like, I mean, let's just show an entire video where I do nothing but lose. Where everybody, except for the host of that lobby, does nothing but lose. But yeah, this is generally, I mean, this is trying to find a ranked match is just stupid. I'm just going to go sit in the lobby.